<laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Showdown Sunday. I am your host, Jason Cupcake Troll Gordon. I am joined with... Mike Psychotic Kelly. And today we are going to be playing some 1v1 StarCraft 2. Um, the Legacy of the Void beta is out, but we will not be playing that. We are because we're be not in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's not kid ourselves because we're not in it. Um, Hold that shit, Grandmasters. We're <laughs> not in. <laughs> so, yeah, this is... I have never done... Uh, StarCraft multiplayer online ever. Um, I've done some like LAN stuff way back in the day with StarCraft 1. And Mr. Psychotic used to play a lot and not so much, so we're kind of on even playing grounds. That's, that's, that's not entirely accurate. I played a lot in Brood War. I haven't really played much of StarCraft 2, so I, I am, Sorry. as you would say, washed up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I am I am the old man. I am the guy who still plays Super Turbo, even though everyone else is playing SF4. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we know this, though. So. Yeah. So I guess with that said, let's go ahead and jump into our first game. Well, I don't know if you want to uh, change your color or your race or anything before I press start. I'm just going to change my color. All right, cool. We good. This epic countdown with the beeps. <laughs> It's like a heart monitor, and then it just stops, and I'm like, am I dead? And then I'm like, no, I'm playing StarCraft, <laughs> which is probably what got that Korean guy. <laughs> like, after playing 50 hours of StarCraft, and you start hearing those beeps, and then they stop, you just, like, oh, shit, I'm dead. And, you know, you make yourself believe it, and it happens. Yeah. <clears throat> so is it, this is a two-spawn map. Correct. All righty. Not enough minerals. So, no real need for scouting, because I know where you are, unless I want to see what type of uh, tech you're going, but... Well, you don't even know which race I am. That, too! Theoretically. 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 I, I did sort of give it away. Oh, well, I guess it was a good thing I was paying attention, then. So as you'll quickly learn from my perspective, like I said, I am not a pro player, so don't don't count on me doing timings. <laughs> What's going on? Like I know some basics and I will try and do those. But outside of that, like I don't know like, oh, you need to be doing this at this time and this at that time, so Insufficient Vespine gas. Oh, I know what race you are. Yeah? I can hear you. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah. So I'm thinking to myself, man, why 
I'm not doing anything with my guys. Why am I hearing them talk? Upgrade complete. Cheat strats. <laughs> Insufficient Vespine gas. That was fun. Yep. 
arrived. The Grim Reaper has arrived. Upgrade complete. Go, go, go! Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Ah, you scared me. Space is under attack. By the numbers, boys. Base is under attack. Roger that. Big job, huh? What's going on? What's going on? Add on complete.
Ready to complaint. Holla back. I got my ears on. Upgrade complete. Research complete. Add on complete. Insufficient Vespine gas. Transformation systems primed. Victory. Very well. Agreed. Ha <laughs> ha! Certainly. All right. Yes, indeed. Inbound. Additional supply insufficient Vespine well. gas. Cute. I thought so. I got my base is under attack. Our 
SCVs are under attack. Confirmed. Right. Turbines to full. Our SCVs are under Space attack. Is under attack. SCVs are under attack. Space is under attack. Ah, uh, Thor drops. I've always thought the Thor drop was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just a little bit. So I, I had to set it up. <laughs> I, I couldn't not Thor drop. <laughs> no, that that's completely okay. Um, my first match is StarCraft Two. It might have been Brugor. It was it was the first time I played against one of my friends. We were talking about how nukes were awful, so I think it was actually Brugor. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but they're inherently hilarious. <laughs> like, you know they're coming. The game even warns you, hey, there's about to be a nuke dropped on your fucking head. All you gotta do is find the ghost and, you know, move everything away from there. <laughs> uh, that's actually one of my favorite things that uh, Day9 does. Uh, on Mondays, he has a Fun Day Monday where he puts some crazy-ass restraint on players and they have to submit the replays. And one of them is the Dr. Seuss nuke, where every time you launch a nuke, you have to say something Dr. Seuss-like. <laughs> 